All right, folks, Rollin' Bayou is Rollin' Bayou again. And we still have the best beignets in town. Or any town. Don't be so modest. To hell with my diet. How about a bag of beignets and a bowl of gumbo? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> You know, I hear that people like to dunk them inside the gumbo. I hear that, too. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, if the spirit moves you. <laughs> Do you smell that? That's gas. She's still alive. Well, there's nothing I know in here except baking equipment. A lock of her hair is missing. The cult. Whoever killed our doctor tried to kill our baker, too. And whatever they're up to, I suspect, they're far from finished. So what do we do now? I don't know. But I think we can both agree, Samdi had no idea we pulled a switch on him. So Facilier's asleep. Well, that makes one of us. Nice to see you again, Regina. I see you didn't return empty-handed. The dark one in denim. How quaint. Oh, so now you're awake. I came to you for help. I had an alliance with Belfry, which precluded my being honest with you. And now that she's dead and the coven's come to town, what, you just circle back around to us for help? That's not the only reason I came here. I had thought that the coven killed Dr. Sage, but today there was another attack on a member of the coven. That's caused me to reevaluate. Turns out, the doctor had a scar we missed. Looks like a tattoo removal. But apparently in my cursed persona, I've made some poor decisions. I mean, who loves Def Leppard lyrics that much? Had to be done. I recognize this. Looks like eight spokes on a wheel. The doctor wasn't killed by the coven. She was in the coven. Someone's killing witches. Or pour some sugar on me. I think another drink's required. 